Drop it. What is up, guys? This is PVM Vertigo, and today, well, as you can see, there's some Counter Strike in the background. Not really sure how I do in this round, but I just kind of slap this clip in here because we're going to be talking about something a little different, not really related to Counter Strike. We're going to be talking about my game haul in the Steam sales, which turned out pretty good, which you'll, you will see if you watch the entire video. Alright, so yeah, I made a Steam sale guide early on in. December, I think, yeah. And it was one of my first videos, and I tried to make it as good as possible. And I tried to stick to it, you know. Just, um, build a budget and stuff. My budget, for me, was $120. Because if you really think about it, you may think that's very expensive, but that's about two PS4 or Xbox One games new. And I was expecting to get about maybe 15 to 20 games that I really wanted or have heard about. Because, of course, my channel is not really a um, one game channel it's kind of just a kind of just an everything channel so need more games to record more interesting content for this channel all right that's enough of me talking straight to the aftermath all right so I was hoping to get about 15 to 20 games and well I edged out 16 I think that's pretty good well 17 if you count that I bought two copies of portal 2 one for both my friends as a Christmas present for um Justin and Eric He's, uh, Eric's channel will be linked in the description because we do do a series on that game, Portal 2. And for two copies, it was a steal. $8 versus $40, which you would normally have paid. Alright, so the next thing we bought on our list was Civilization V, the complete edition. I already had the base game, but I bought it again because I wanted all the DLC, and instead of just buying all the DLC individually, I just bought the pack, even though I did have to throw away my um, copy of the original game, which kind of sucked, but... $12 versus $50, I'd take it any day. Alright, so next up on the uh, list of games that we bought is Goat Simulator. Kind of just one of those funny games that I might use for a commentary. Not necessarily a live commentary, but just something if I'm talking about my channel, if I'm talking about something in the news that's relating to gaming for some reason. I'll probably just use it for that, but it was $6 versus $10, so it was $4 off. Not that much of a deal, but still very good all right so next up is strike vector strike vector is one of those like space shooter games it's supposed to be very fast paced i might do a video on it sometime i learned about it through one of my favorite youtubers um star underscore also known as i don't even know how to pronounce that name but yeah i will be playing that soon and it was six dollars versus twelve dollars so half off very good deal i will be playing that soon all right so next up on our list is prison architect it's one of those management games, kind of like The Sims, but it's um, 2D. You can imagine what you do in here. You design a prison and you manage um, prisoners. I will not be recording it, but it's just going to be fun anyway. It was $6 versus $30, so as you can see, quite a lot of uh, savings there. It's actually one of the biggest savings I've had all Steam sale, considering of how much of a price drop that was. Alright, so... This next game, I didn't really want at the beginning of the Steam sale, and I mean, I think it's worth the money. It's one of those games that I said that you shouldn't really buy, but I bought it anyway. My friend, um, egged me into it, and yeah, I ended up buying it. It is Euro Truck Simulator. I mean, yeah, it's exactly what it sounds. You drive a truck around. I thought it was kind of fun. Definitely worth the $7 out of $25 that it would normally be. I might play it, not really sure, but this was kind of like my throwaway game. But I didn't have many other throwaway games, so that's okay. Alright, that's so enough about that. Our next game, moving on, was Spore. And, yeah, I do a series on this game, so it's obviously done very well for me. I enjoy it. Definitely worth the amount of money I paid for it. Which was um $5, which is $20, which is 75% off. I'm glad to own a game again, one that I had lost on disc originally. Alright, so we're about halfway through the list. Stick with me now, because we are halfway. Next game is Papers, Please. It's where you um you are a border guard of some sort, and you take in people's papers and let them through the border. It's kind of a simple game. I think, well, I haven't actually tried it yet. I will be trying it soon. will not record it, <laughs> but it's going to be fun anyway, I hope. Alright, so our next deal 
that we um, accepted and took was um, I didn't expect it to be on sale. It was a bit of a Far Cry, if you get my pun there. Yeah, it was a Far Cry franchise pack. And for $10 instead of $40 for all the games in the series, except for the fourth and newest one, that is the biggest deal that I have encountered so far in Steam. Next up, we have Bioshock Infinite, a game renowned for its story, and that's why I bought it. It's a little bit, it's getting a little old now. I believe it's two, th yeah, two years ago it was released, I think. But everybody that I know says that they enjoyed it, so I bought it. And, well, $7.50 versus uh, $30 is a big deal, so thank you, Valve. And here's another game I bought. Um, I, if you ask me why I bought it, I would just say, just cause. <laughs> oh, the puns are real here. But yeah, anyway. Just Cause 2, uh, weighing in at $2.5 versus the $15 that it would normally be at. And incredible deal for a game that I've heard so much about from my friends. Alright, so another odd game that you probably have never heard of is Democracy 3. I um, heard of it while looking for alternatives to Civilization 5, like, you know, games similar to it. And I found this, and... I think it's really fun actually, you like simulate being your own president or leader, and if you wanted to, you could turn the United States into an anarchy, or you could turn it into like a socialist utopia. And yeah, you can manage your country, and I think that's kind of fun, I might do a video on this actually. Not really sure if it's worth the $25 asking price, but it sure is worth the $5 I paid for it during the Steam sale. I have another few more games left, stay with me guys, but I just want you to see I just noticed this. Look at that score. We're getting absolutely demolished in this background recording. I mean, it doesn't really matter, considering it's only a Steam sale video, but that is terrible. Huh. Well, we're making it anyway. Okay, so nevertheless. Next game is South Park The Stick of Truth. I've heard lots of comments about this, mostly over Reddit in the gaming section, and yeah, it appears to be a very fun game. I will be playing this, maybe make a video on it, probably not, but eh, it's worth the uh, asking price. Which was $13.5 versus $40 that it's worth normally. Alright, so this next game I bought is, well, it was my first game, and it was on disc, and I lost it because I was not a responsible 7 year old. And it was not COD, it was not Halo, it was Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. And yes, I rebought it at so yeah, ten dollars is twenty dollars. Good deal for a game that I wish I could find. Oh well, I rebought it. I will be playing it soon and may even make a series. It's a high possibility. All right, so another experiment, another experimental game. I mean, because I was not sure how this game would be, and I have not played it yet. I hope to enjoy it because I looked it up after I had uh, saw it on the sale. And everybody says it's good, so I will be playing it. It's called Game Dev Tycoon. And it was cheap, $4 versus $10. So yeah, pretty much a steal. Considering that it is a tycoon game, and as you can see, Roller Coaster Tycoon was my first game I ever played. It's a tycoon game. I'll probably like it. Alright guys, and here we are, my last game that I purchased. Arma 2. I have played DayZ, and Arma 2 has the same controls because DayZ was based off Arma 2. First it was a mod, and I might play the DayZ mod. However, I did not buy this game for the DayZ mod. With my friend who has 400 hours on Daisy standalone and around 500 hours on the mod says that standalone is still better. I I am going to play it just for the campaign. However, don't take my word for it. Maybe in the future I will play the mod. Who knows? But anyway, for five dollars versus twenty dollars, this game was well worth it. Everybody says it's good. I will enjoy playing it in the future. All right. As for total amount of money spent. I spent $130, so I spent a little bit over my budget, but it was all on Steam cards from relatives, so that was okay. And I would have spent $400 normally. Now that's a lot, that's as much as a PS4. Alright, so I saved $267, that means I, I um, saved more than twice of what I spent, so that is great. And I also did buy one game like a day after the Steam sale when I got another Steam card. This War of Mine, it was still on sale for a little bit, but it technically didn't make the cut for this video, so oh well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. I hope your Steam sale was as fruitful as mine was. I know I'm a little bit late, but I hope you enjoyed anyways. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and enjoy this ending where we came back and won the match.
Job purple. Why do we die so quickly? Do we have AFK? Cause you suck. That's why.